This is uh, definitely the most explosive North Carolina team that we've been challenged by probably since the the 01 season when we played, when they had uh, Ronald Curry and Julius Peppers and uh, Sims on the defensive line, David Thornton and that group. Um, very explosive offensively. Uh, the three receivers, uh, Foster, Nixon, Tate, um, very explosive. Uh, they've had seven, eight plays this year, over 50 yards already. Um, a lot of it is off of uh, some very um, intricate schemes and um, a, lot of, a lot of play action, try to uh, minimize the rush on the quarterback. Quarterback has been excellent, very accurate. I mean, his quarterback rating, I think, is 196. That's an unreal number um, for, for any, for any uh, college quarterback to have. So been uh, very, very effective at taking full advantage of what obviously is a very strong position on their team. And uh, uh, I think their average yardage per catch is 16 yards per catch for the season. Just uh, unbelievable. So uh, very challenging. They, they uh, have a very talented group there, and they've done a very good job of putting together a plan that enables them to really feature those players. Well, we have. We've uh, obviously been waiting for these two games to take a look at. Uh, we'd like to have a little bit more book on them. Obviously, they have six years' worth of games to look at on us. Um, we have two games to look at on them. So um, the advantage in terms of research clearly falls in their court. Um, so we've tried to offset that by going back into the archives as much as we can. And Of course, you're in a somewhat different set of circumstances there. We try not to do de draw too many highly definitive conclusions from that, but uh, we have to form some basis and use it as a point of comparison. Yeah, well, they have uh, uh, really two premier special teams performers. Uh, the kicker um, is as good a kicker as there is in the ACC, certainly. Um, allows them the opportunity to um, score points from far out, which they also have been able to do with their passing game. He's a significant weapon for their team. Um, and had the ball gotten down on, on the hold last week, there's a real good chance he probably could have won the game for his team. And then, um, of course, Tate is a very explosive um, kick return man. He's got five returns for touchdowns in his career. And uh, he's still got well over 20 games to play. So um, the odds favor him having a pretty phenomenal um, career as a as a college kick return man, we just um, going to try to take all precautions necessary to s try not to be one of those numbers. Well, clearly we have to to uh, uh, start out with the mentality that we can't afford to uh, to give up one play touchdowns. Um, they've got one guy who's been responsible for that in in, uh, in dual ways. Um, Tate's got three of them as a receiver. Uh, one of them is a kick returner. Um, difficult to determine which one is more challenging to control them in. Special teams is such a scrambled situation that uh, you can practice, 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 and a lot just depends upon what happens after the ball's in the air. Uh, receivers, a lot of it is matchup. You can get paired up in a situation that, uh, with his speed that uh, if the quarterback is allowed to throw the ball in his terms, he's a difficult matchup. So. So one of the primary things is, uh, is is not to be vulnerable to the one play touchdowns that North Carolina has been so successful at, and uh, large a large part of it is for, for us to uh, make significant progress on um, our list of things that we think need fixing and uh, improving in our performance. Well, yeah, sure. If we can, if we can stretch the field um, in all directions with it, then it becomes a, a greater problem to deal with. We we make that same assessment all the time when we're playing against guys. You know, how much coverage can you take off one player to put on somebody else, or do you have to keep it evenly divided? The more weapons you can put together over there, obviously, the more explosive that a team's going to be. Um, you're right about that. We try to emphasize to the, to those positions that. Um, you know, if a guy caught nine catches, had, had nine balls a game, he'd be in the top five or six in the country. Uh, if you got 65 plays in the game and, and 
nine plays are, are the players' only really productive plays. That, that's pretty important, but we need more than nine out of 65. It's what does a guy do on the other, on the other bunch of them, and, and I, that obviously has a lot to do with making the running game going. Uh, we have put a big emphasis on wanting more production in that area uh, from that particular position. Yeah, very. Uh, he's done a very nice job, um, Wes. We've spoken about uh, Allen here um, on other occasions. Uh, really hindered um, throughout the year last year in uh, performing as certainly he would have liked to have been able to perform courageously, but not not production-wise. And uh, has done done a very good job with it here this year, and um, has continued to be in real positive condition and hasn't had any any issues whatsoever since we started spring practice. And um, we certainly hope that would be very important to us that that continued to be the case because he's playing the position uh, very nicely right now. Well, Philip was, was, um, was pretty much naturally all the time down here. Um, what Peter does is, um, and, and this, this as, is as a result, we've discussed this a little bit, but this is as a result of being a player for being young in his life and young in his career has thrown a lot of passes. You know, I, th I mean, I think there was one game last year in high school where he threw 60 or something of that nature. And, and then if he wasn't throwing that many every week, he's probably throwing 35 or 40. And so what's given him is, is a lot of different situations in which he's been exposed to adjusting to make the throw that has to be made. And uh, so he's he's got a good versatility with his delivery that whether he's got to throw it down here to get it around a guy or throw it up here to get more distance on it so he does it just so my answer to your question Doug is on occasion it's going to look that way but it's not an all the time thing as it was with Philip Rivers.